Hello there, Algebra students. This is Mr. Kashi speaking. Um, with this video, we're going to go through some examples on just the 10-1 and 10-2 review. 10-1 uh, has adding and subtracting examples, and um, the 10-2 has some multiplying examples uh, along with a little bit of solving some equations. So um, these, uh, this first one, um, we're just adding. We have two examples here. We're going to be adding um, these expressions here. So really you just need to combine the like terms here. So we have 6x, 6 6s, 6 and 8s. Um, so 6 plus 8, that would be 14s. And then we would have um, 5t plus 4t, and that would be 9t just like that. So we'd have uh, 14s plus 9t. Um, this uh, next one, make sure that you realize that they're not written on the same side, so it would be 2h squared minus 3h squared, and that would give us a negative 1h squared. And then here we'd have a negative 5h plus a 7h, negative 5 plus 7, that would give us a positive 2, so this would be plus 2h. Okay, give you a little time to write that down, then we'll move on to some other examples here. This one would be subtraction. So here we have x squared minus 2x, so that would be 1 minus 2, which that would give us a negative 1. So this would be a negative 1x squared. And then the other one would be negative 3x minus a 5. So we have negative 3 minus 5, that would be a negative 8. So we'd have a negative 8x, like that. Then over here on the right, here we have a 2x, but there's no, there's no x term on the, on the right-hand side. So we have to be careful here and make sure that we're just adding and subtracting the things that, um, that we have like terms in. So really, it's just these x squared. So we have 3x squared minus 8x squared. So we have a 3 minus a negative 8. Just like that. That would be a change change and that would give us an 11. So we would have 11x squared plus 2x. We have the 2x there. We didn't subtract anything. And then we have a negative 7. We have a minus 7. Think of having a 0 over here. 0 minus 7. That would give us a uh, minus 7 at the end. So these are two, um, two, prob two expressions that we simplified combining like terms using subtraction. Next one we will be doing is 10-2 um, review, which is multiplying expressions. Um, and this is uh, just like bombing the fort, like you were uh, taught in 8th grade. So we have 2y times y, that would be 2y squared. And then we have 2y times a negative 4, that would be a negative 8y. So if you wanted to break that down kind of like this, 2y times y minus 2y times 4. Maybe that would be a, a better way of doing it there. Okay. And then this one on the right, uh, once again, bombing the fort, we have 4h times 3h, and then we have minus 4h times 5. So 4 times 3, that would give us 12. h times h gives us h squared. Minus 4 times 5, that would be 20h. So that would be uh, two problems, just uh, bombing the fort, uh, multiplying a monomial by um, a polynomial, in this case it would be a binomial. Last example, and by, by any means always you can always rewind these and go back and take a look. Um, this is one is a little bit more involved, we might be using some space over here at the right, but first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to bomb the fort. So here we have 4b plus 24. 4 times 6 would be 24. Then we're going to bomb the fort on this side. This would be 2b plus 10, and then we have this plus 2 um, right there. So then the next step 
I would just leave the left hand side alone 4b plus 24 and then here we'd have 2b plus 12 Okay. then what I would do is I would subtract 2b on both sides and we would get 2, 4b minus 2b, that would be 2b, sorry it kind of looks like a 26, but 24 equals 12. Here we would subtract 24 on both sides. We get 2b equals negative 12, and then divide by 2, divide by 2, here we would get b equals negative 6. So this would be an example of having an equation, we'd have to bomb the fort on both sides, um, and we're multiplying uh, polynomials there, obviously, but we have that equal sign, so they want us to find out what b is. At the end, we find out that b equals negative 6.